Australia's own K-pop idol Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. Welcome to the K-Wave. Welcome to the K-Wave on SBS Pop Asia. I'm Rome, the leader of K-pop boy band Sea Clown with the big two C's. Time for you to put up your feet and hang out with me for the next hour or so. There's heaps of great stuff coming up on the show, including K-pop news and what a week it has been. Yes, it has been quite a week because, because, uh, yes, as you know, CTC uh, hasn't came out yet. No, hasn't came out. The, ep- the fourth episode was meant to come out, but it hasn't because we had some issues. And I'm sorry I never got to you guys about that, but I will explain that all to you later on. And don't forget, you can tweet your questions to Rome underscore C Clown or, S- or at SBS Pop Asia, or you know, post on the SBS Pop Asia's Facebook page. And I'll try to get to as many as possible because they are so good and get me thinking about a lot of things, a lot of good things. So thank you, everyone who takes the time to put key to the board. I like that, key to the board. Hmm, nice. <clears throat> anyway guys, uh, we will be having uh, my member, Shiu. Yes, the guy who got chased by ostriches. The guy that has simply no idea what's going on. Yes, we will be having him in, so send in a lot of questions. It's the K-Wave with Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. Welcome back to the show. Rome here from the K-pop group Sea Clown. And this is the K-Wave on SBS Pop Asia. Welcome one and all to Australia's premier K-pop show. Red carpet, spotlight, drums, cameras. Yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Um... So anyway, still to come in the show, all the latest on the world of K-pop. And like I said before, I have a Shu, the Sachon, the 4D character. No, it's not a character. It's him in real life. Yes, we'll be having him on the show. So please send in some crazy, wacky questions. And uh, obviously, I have to explain to you guys about what happened to the fourth episode of CTC. But do not worry. Uh, I'm not saying CTC is over because it will be up. We just had some issues. Anyway, time for some questions and answers, people. Are you ready? Because now is just one of my favorite times. And I'm sorry, but I will be answering questions uh, sent in to me. Not you. Sent in to me from time to time. So please keep posting it on the Pop Asian Facebook page or, you know, at Rome underscore C Clown or at SBS Pop Asia. Because it's just that amazing. Let's go get straight into it. Here's one from Sumaya. If you had to burn all your clothes and wear clothes of another member from C Clown member, which would it be? Who would it be? Sorry. Ah, uh, wow, this is good. In my opinion, I think I would have to do Ray. Yeah, Ray dresses reasonably, I guess, fashionable, but also to the likings of my style. So I like his. I like his clothes. Yeah, and he got some pretty. Pretty nice clothes up in there, so definitely Ray. Isn't that yeah, Ray? Hmm. Next question: If you had to describe each of your members in one word, to what would it be? And this was sent in by Tommy G. Oh, I, I remember Tommy G, the one with the G name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I won't do that again. Uh, if I had to describe my members with a one word, um, you mean all of them together or one by one? Well, I'll do both of it, and uh, if I had to explain, let's start with our guest tonight, let's start with Shu. Uh, one word would be uh, sloth, sloth, simply sloth. If you type sloth on uh, Google or anything, and it comes out with a sloth picture, and that just reminds me of Shu. That's just, I don't know, it's just the character and everything about it that kind of reminds me of Shu. Uh, Kang Jun, one word. It would have to be... Oh, this is hard. It would have to be... Uh, Maymays. You know, the Maymays, Maymays. Um, mainly because he is like the master of having that kind of a face. And you could pretty much use that in any circumstance. Put any caption underneath it. And it'll just go beautifully together. As for Maru, the one word to describe him will be... You know, I'll leave that up to you guys. You can decide what what goes perfectly with Maru. Yep, yep. And as for the other members, I'm not quite sure. I maybe TK. Uh, TK is a bit of a giraffe. I don't know if for some reason he just there's a word that a giraffe just pops up into my head. Ray, uh, a cat. 
I don't know, he looks like a cat, big eyes, very pretty face, even though he's a guy. <clears throat> and yeah, and me, I don't know, you guys can make up one for me. How's that? Definitely. So I'll answer more of your questions later. And I hope you are all tuning into SBS Pop Asia TV at 9am Sunday mornings on SBS2. And I've been expecting you to tweet me and tell me that you are when the show is on. So um, that's proof. The reason is I don't want you to miss Jamaican Andy and hottest Asian pop video hits. So tweet me and I'll definitely be waiting. It's the K-Wave with Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. You're listening to the K-Wave on SBS Pop Asia with Rome from Sea Clown. I'm an Australian K-pop idol who leads the boy band C Clown. That's right. I'm Australian and Korean. I'm Korean, but I was born in Australia. Da 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 da. How are you all going with your entries for the Pop Asia Presenter Search? Let me know if you are entering because dreams can come true if you try. So hey, give it a go. You know you can do it, and I'll be checking up on those very soon. By the way, did you guys catch Amber from FX on the show with me last time? It's on podcast. If you missed it, so go to sbs.com.au/popasia. And Amber did say that she would be answering some questions for you. So I am going to hold her onto that. Sorry, onto that. Onto that. Onto that. Yeah. Don't forget to tweet me your questions as well, guys. It's at Rome underscore C Clown at SBS Pop Asia. Or, you know, you can simply post on the SBS Pop Asian Facebook page. Now, you know what time it is. It's time for some K pop updates. <laughs> That's my little sound effect thing. I don't know. It just comes out when I get excited. 21's leader, CL, will be debuting in the US next year. And guess who's helping her out? None other than size producer Scooter Braun, who also manages pop stars such as Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. Turns out this solo debut happened after Sai introduced CL to Scooter, and she impressed him with her unique fashion and rapping skills. Crayon Pop's twins Choa and Wei have debuted as the sub-duo Strawberry Milk, releasing their title track, OK. The song is about the feelings of a girl who finds a guy who is close to ideal type. Ideal type, hmm, ideal type. It's a very sensitive subject, is it not? No, it's not. It's just a very light subject. I mean, my ideal type is, I always say this, but it's a girl who has a lot of passion for her work, all right? It could be any kind of work as long as she has that, that much passion because apparently I have that much passion for my work as well and I really like, you know, seeing someone else have that kind of passion so I can kind of relate to that person, you know? So, yeah, that's pretty much my ideal type. Uh, as for appearance-wise, it really does not matter um, as long as, yeah, as long as we just click together. Bop, bop, bop. So, uh, finally... Big Bang's label YG Entertainment is rumored to be debuting a new girl group at the end of the year. The last time YG debuted a girl group was back in 2009 with, of course, 21. It's the K-Wave with Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. Welcome back to SBS Pop Asia. It's Rome here hanging out with you on the K-Wave. Now, you guess what time it is? Um, I'm expecting to hear a drum roll, please, Dr. J. Thank you, it's Rome's wig. Sometimes I think Dr. J forgets the drum roll, so I have to kind of uh, frequently keep mentioning it. But it's alright, it's alright. Uh, yeah, first of all, just want to clear things. Uh, CTC has not come out this, no, sorry, last week, because uh, apparently the footages that I took of the cooking thing, uh, I don't know where it all went to. It all kind of disappeared. It, it just vanished. And I did manage to have a backup drive of it. So I did manage to save a few of the clips, but kind of the most important ones kind of just dissolved into thin matter. I have no idea why. And that's the reason why it kind of uh, delayed the whole process. I know things happen. These things happen. And I wasn't able to get to you guys because of the busy schedule. As you guys know, you know, we'll... We are going to Japan. I'm probably in Japan as I speak this very moment. Yes. Uh, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we are having fun. And, um, yeah, don't worry. CTC is not over. I'm going to try to make it as much better as I can. So I'm getting a bit distracted right now because uh, my guest, Shu, 
is distracting me constantly next to me. He's making faces. I wish you could just see these faces. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, like I said before, uh, I brought Shiwi in for a reason because a lot of you guys always, you know, kind of asked me uh, if you could ask questions to Shiwi. And, you know, I've got a couple of questions right here for him. By the way, why don't we just get him on here right now? Shiwi? Hello, yeah. Shiwi? Hello, guys. Oh, he's speaking English all of a sudden. My name is Superstar Shu. Super what? Superstar. Superstar. Okay. Yeah, Superstar Shu. That's a very nice entrance. Okay. Why? What makes you so super? Um, it, famous uh, singer. Your famous singer. Okay. You mean the famous singer who got chased by ostriches and emus at the zoo? What do you think about that? Huh? 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 All right. Okay. We we gotta stop this. Um. Okay, so last time I had Kang Jun, but now I'm having you. But you're not going to be my co-assistant. Not just yet. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, well, I got a few questions for you, Shu. Is that okay? Okay. Questions that fans want to know. Okay, okay. Is that all right? Okay. Okay, okay so I'm going to do it. Stop saying okay. Hyung mm, All right, so it's like, you choose, Rome. Our first question is... This is one from A I N N U R A N U R. Hello. Hello. Does he think he is weird? To you, who is the weirdest in C Clown? 너가 네 자신이 이상하다고 생각해? 아, 나는 멀쩡해. Normal. You think you're normal. Okay. Then who do you think in C Clown is the weirdest? C Clown 중에서 누가 제일 이상한 것 같아? 음, 강준. 강준. Why? CTC 보면 알아요. Oh, uh, if you watch CTC, I guess uh, you know why he's the weirdest. 다, 다 거예요. Everyone knows. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, this one is from Hey, it's Handy. Have you ever cried on an amusement park ride? 너 놀이기구 탈때운적 있어? 없어. No. No. Why? I think I'm you cried. Very cry... funny. You know, funny. You <laughs> cried during the Viking. Uh. Hey, Jimmy You cried very the... good, very good. Really? Even Viking? No. Uh -uh. You wanna try you wanna go on the Viking again? You think it's very good? Okay, let's go on a bigger roller coaster. Gyro drop. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Have a gyro drop. Viking, Viking. Viking? Alright. Viking. Alright. Thank you. So this is the next question. This is from at Tarsley. Who what's one of Shu's most memorable moments of the year? 이번 일, 이번 연도에서 제일 기억 남는 추억. 음, 이번 연도? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. 음, 일본, 일본 간 거랑, yeah. 또, 바이킹, 바이킹 좀 오랜만에 탔어. So, going to Japan and riding the Viking. Are you okay. serious? Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Um, this one is from At Sky Dreamer. Uh, and she says, 태민아, 만화책이 좋아해요? 만화 주인공인 것 같아서 궁금해요. 태민이 주, 태민 공주님이 <웃음> 어떤 왕자를 만나고 싶어요? 어? 로명이 마녀처럼 생각 본 적이 있어요. <웃음> so this person wrote in Korean. Thank you so much. Uh, and she says, 태민, what's your, do you like uh, reading comic books like manga, like manga? Mm -hmm. And if you want, if you like manga, be, uh, she said this because she thinks she looks like a character out of you know anime, right? 그러면, <laughs> because you're a princess, okay. what, which prince would you like to meet? <laughs> Shiu. Ah, yeah, you're because everyone Shiu's nickname is Princess Shiu. Okay, 이왕 여자인 거 엄청 잘생긴 사람을. So she who wants to meet a handsome, handsome prince. Kido jung, kido jung, kugo. Tall, handsome prince. <laughs> Ew. Oh, you're weird, Shiu. Yeah, 돈도 많아야지. And a lot of money. So. A prince that is tall, handsome, and has a lot of money. Okay. That's very shallow. Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's not nice, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, so he has to have everything. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that, that meets up to your standard. Okay, for example, who? Prince Charming? How about Shrek, the prince from Shrek? No. Alright, how about, how about Snow White, the one that kissed Snow White? I forgot his prince name, but... Mm, prince? Yeah, what prince? Sh well, how about... Shrek, 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 Shrek. Oh, okay, okay. Shrek, alright, Shrek. Yeah, alright, so Shrek, he wants someone like Shrek. All right. Shrek, Shrek. Oh, Shrek who changed, yeah, not changed. too bad. No. You're gonna have... <laughs> okay, 
Uh, this one is from Taylor at Shu underscore C Clown. Can you make Shu freestyle rap? Rap? Yeah, freestyle rap. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> I'm getting tired so sorry, of being sorry. boxing. Let's go. Oh, uh, rap no. Rap no. Lab. Let's go. Uh, uh uh. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah come on. My name is Shu. How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Shu. How do you do? <laughs> Are you serious? That's not a rap. That's just a conversation. No. No. No, no. Okay, okay. Well, that's oh, that's the most you can get out of Shield. That's the first time we've ever he's ever even tried. Okay, um, okay. So here is one from at TKCCTK VitK Kaeda. 몇 번을 들어도 질리지 않는 팬들에게 추천해주고 싶은 만한 노래가 있나요? So is there a song that he wants to recommend to the fans? Uh, no matter how many times they listen to it, they will not get bored of the song. So, which, what kind of song is that for them? Terana. Yeah. Uh, I listen to it Okay, it's an idol song. Yeah. Oh, you listen to an idol song. All right, tell me. B1A4. Yeah, B1A4. Uh, yes. Oh my God. B1A4. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it, guys. It's a song that he li- likes to listen to. Um, get gets his mood up. So it's B1A4. Oh my God. And yeah, there you go. Could you turn it to This one is from Hey, it's Handy. What part of your body are you most confident in? What is the most in the body? Your eyes, nose, lips. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a Taeyeon song to me. Why don't you sing? Five, six, seven, eight. No, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. I oh, know. Yeah. No, no, you... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you heard that? It's a very sweet voice you got, Shu. Very sweet. Of course, superstar. You're a superstar. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so uh, here's one from... Well, I think we'll have to make this one last one. Rise UXX. Shu, mm. are you fond of elephants? Elephants are you fond of elephants? So it's, what's yeah, yeah. he says it's strange and yeah. interesting. Why? Why is it so interesting? Uh, 엄청 크고. Yeah, because it's big. 코도 길고. Because it's got a big nose, like you. 냄새가 좀 심한. It smells like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. 근데 그게 마음에 들어. But you, you like it because yeah, of that. Yeah. Okay, that's a very good reason. That's a very good reason. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe just one more question. All right, so this is from at Good Day K Shin Chris Care. What does he like about Rome? Ha ha ha. 너 형, 형이 어디가 좋아? 왜 좋아? 형이 왜 좋냐고? Yeah, why do you like me? What do you like about me? 아, 영어를 잘해요. I'm, just, I'm good at English. 네, 또. 나도 영어 잘하고 싶은데. But you want to be good at English as too. 네, 영어 잘하고. 음, 춤을 잘 춰요. And, and a good dancer. 네. That's okay. So those are your reasons? 네, 배우고 싶은 게 많아요. Oh, he wants to learn a lot from me. Okay, so that's a very nice reason. Well, guess what? That, thank you guys so much for your questions. Uh, we'll be right back. He's going to co-assist me now. That was your tw- test, by the way. Test it? Yeah, that was your test. What but anyway, <laughs> coming up, I answer more of your questions. So tweet me at Roma underscore C-Clown at SBS Pop Asia. Or, you know, you can simply post on the SBS Pop Asian Facebook page. It's the K-Wave with Rome from C-Clown on SBS Pop Asia. You're on SBS Pop Asia's K-Wave and I'm Rome, the leader of the boy band C-Clown. Great to be back and great to have you guys back and listening. Back to one of the best parts of the show where I get to answer your questions from Facebook and Twitter. Let's just get straight into it. Here's one by Stand By My Side M. And this person says, How do you get rid of boredom? Very good question. Um, when I get bored, I tend to listen to music. Because music, listening to music, and what I, what I mean by this, I know it's a very typical answer, but I listen to music, uh, new, I try to look for new music. So I explore uh, new different types of music. And I usually do stumble upon one that I really get interested in. And once I start listening to that, it kind of gets me inspired and motivated to do something that I wasn't really inspired to do probably uh, moments ago before that. So definitely listening to music really gets rid of my boredom. Or I can go through my friends list, call someone, and who knows, maybe destiny leads, right? We've been, we can be going out, having fun the next minute, who knows. But Shu, how do you get rid of boredom? No, 심심할 때 뭐해? 음, 자거나 영화 보거나 드라마 봐. 
So he sleeps, watches a movie or a drama. That's very simple. Very simple. You're a very simple person. I like that. Simple is good. Yeah. Good, good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Um, here's the next one. Uh, this one is from Marianne, and this person says, Favorite high school memory. Oh, I know I should be saying this, but my favorite high school memory was when I used to... Uh, I know that's a very bad thing to do, but you shouldn't do it. But I sometimes missed out on class just so I can go out with my friends. And my friends missed out as well. And we went out and we snuck out. We run, we ran to the bus stop, uh, changed clothes because you can't be seen in uniform. Uh, and then we went to the city. And all we did there was dance and dance and dance in front of, um, I guess, like mirrors or like even the reflection of the windows to like a store or any place for that matter. And that's one of my best high school memories. I know it's got nothing to do with high school, but I did it during high school period. So um, yeah, that's a very good memory I still have. What's your favorite high school memory? Kodakyo Jay. Oh, Kyongin Nam Nen Chuok. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, Tebal. No, Chanasai Manaso. Okay, so his favorite high school memory was he thought he was the best dancer in the in the area. But once he got there, he found himself amongst the best dancers in Korea. And that's when it kind of shocked him. So that was a shock, not a memory. Very shock. Very shock. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, that's good. Let's go to our Facebook. Here's one from Carissa W. What do you think about love? So what is love for you? For me, I think technically, no, not technically, because love is not a technical thing. I think love is pretty much uh, something you really can't, you can't really put out forward. You know, it's just something that you really feel for someone or you don't, you know. And it's definitely not a, a feeling that, I mean, it could be good or bad, but I think that's the beauty of it. I mean, love doesn't necessarily mean a really, you have to be really into that person, you know, emotionally. It, it's not something that has to be always positive. It's always got to be a negative to it, and that's what makes it more beautiful. So, especially when someone's in a relationship, you know, when they're fighting, I know a lot of couples go through big fights where, you know, the subject of, you don't love me anymore, or that kind of thing, you changed. But, you know, that's the whole process of being part of that moment. I know it can sound strange, but that's how life is. So, yeah, I think that's love to me. What's love to you, Shu? Healing. Mm. Healing. Healing. Okay, healing. So it heals you. Mm. Oh, so love that you get from your parents is healing and love love you get from your girlfriend. Healing. <laughs> Very healing. Very healing. Okay. okay, so you got a girlfriend? No. No, okay. But the love that you can get from both your girlfriend and parents heals you. Yeah. It makes you feel better. 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 All right, that's good. Um, here's one from Mark Levin. What is your favorite movie at the moment? Wow, this is a very good thing. Um, me, personally, I don't have a favorite, favorite movie, but I definitely do enjoy watching a lot of short made films by, you know, just, just directors, small time producers, uh, you know, on the net. It's definitely one of my, I guess, favorite things to do when I'm bored as well. I watch a lot of short story, uh, short movies, short cinematography clips. Um, you know, it could be based on anything, and I really like seeing what other people can come up with. But that's as far as favorite movie goes for me. How about you, Shu? What is your favorite movie at the uh, moment? Men in Black. Men in Black. Oh, sugar. He calls the Men in Black. Sugar, sugar. Sugar. Okay. Uh, you mean the cockroach monster? Uh, uh, Many back one. Sugar. Do the impersonation. Uh, sugar. Sugar. No one gets it. You know what song this is? He calls the many black. And sugar. Here comes the many black. <laughs> That's the Mickey Mouse version. <laughs> Here comes the many black. Oh, you have to watch two. You haven't watched two? Yeah, one you haven't even watched three then. 
Only one. Oh goodness. Okay, you're missing out. So you have to definitely go watch that. And there you have it. Thank you guys for sending those in. We still got time for some more. So post your question on Twitter at Rome underscore C Clown at SPS Pop Asia, or you know, post on the SPS Pop Asian Facebook page. It's the K Wave with Rome from C Clown on SBS Pop Asia. You're listening to SBS Pop Asia's K Wave with Rome from C Clown. You can tweet me at Rome underscore C Clown at SPS Pop Asia or post on the Pop Asian Facebook page it's that simple before we get to your messages though how are all of you in australia going with the exam time i know it could be really stressful and i know jamaica and andy have been trying to help you through this big moment on hashtag hits i just want to you to know that the boys from c clown and i are all thinking of you guys and cheering you guys on because for some of us we've been through that and i hope that you're studying hard and of course trying your best it's a tough time of the year so rest up pace yourself and good luck with all your efforts if it does get a bit too much for you make sure you speak to someone about it because you all got to be strong but do not overwork yourself guys the most important thing is your health best of luck everyone and don't forget to listen to hashtag hits for all the hints on getting through your exam so getting some more questions from Twitter, here's one from at ExoFever Forever. What advice would you give to someone leaving year 12 and going into life? A very good question. I would say if you have a dream and you're really passionate about that, I know uni and I guess work stability is very important. But honestly, if you're really going for something that you really always wanted to do ever since high school, but you just couldn't lay a finger on it, I'd say go for it. The most hardest part of you know the whole thing is is actually taking one the first step. Once you take that first step um, into I guess your career or or dream, it's much much easier after that. Um, I know it's a big decision because leaving year twelve means you're going socially into like into I guess the whole you're on your own kind of thing but honestly it's a big thing and leaving you 12 first of all if you are congratulations uh, you're going into life <laughs> but second of all I guess it's really up to you it's, it's really how you play the games and how passionate you are about everything mm. so what advice do you have Shu? I mean, I know you graduated. Go s a m i go s a m i Yeah, he's uh, this person is, I guess, graduating. I just moved two years back, and that's it, man. He's only twenty-two years old, but. Oh, uh, 그 너무 자기 하고 싶은 거 뭔가 찾으려 하지 말고. Yeah, yeah. 재미 재밌을 거 같은 거 하면서 찾아도 돼. Well, he said the same thing. He said, uh, you know, try finding something that you can really enjoy and you're really passionate about. That's very good. Here's one from Tammy Hammy one two three. You have a picture of a film camera on Twitter. Do you aspire to be a director or filmmaker? Very good question. And yes, I do. Um, I technically want to be a good uh, director, producer, a cinematographer. You know, whether it could be just if I could just take anything for that matter. Uh, later in the future, I'm really leaning on leaning forwards to that kind of side. So yeah, definitely. I have a lot of projects. A lot of main projects I've been working on, which I haven't been able to show any of you guys. Very different from the kind of style that I make uh, in CTC. A lot more serious, a lot more professional. But if I get the chance, I'll definitely love to show you guys very soon. Definitely. Okay, here's one question uh, from Facebook. Would you prefer a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? And this one's from Van An Nguyen. Uh, I'll prefer... Preferably prefer. Does that make sense? A alien invasion, a zombie apocalypse is just too scary. How about you? Hmm. What? A zombie? 아니면 외계인? Zombie. Why? Oh, 외계인은 못생겼고 좀비. Yeah, zombies are ugly too. He said because aliens are ugly. Come on, so zombies are pretty. 좀비는 그래서 사람 같은데. Well, 사람... zomb- Well, what if? Well, he says because zombies look like people. Well. What if the alien looks more like a person? w e g a n is 사람 더 같으면 모르잖아 모르는 거잖아. 아니야 w e g a n 사람 같을 수가 없어. You never know. He said. Well, we never. He said aliens cannot look like people, but we never know. It's the K Wave with Rome from C Clown on SBS Pop Asia. And that's it for the K Wave with Rome on SBS Pop Asia. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me again this week. Don't forget to listen to Hashtag Hits weekdays at 5 p.m. with Jamaica and Andy, and tomorrow night. 
You can catch more from Seoul with Simon and Martina from Eat Your Kimchi, 7 p.m. right after hashtag hits. Catch you again next week, and if you want to hear this show again on demand, download the free Pop Asia app or head to sbs.com.au slash popasia. If you're studying, don't forget to take a study break once an hour and turn on the Pop Asia app, dance to one song, and then get back to the books. Thank you so much, Shu, for co-hosting with me thank today. You, thank you, thank Say you. Say goodbye to SPS Pop Asia. Mm, love me. Love, Please. Love you. I, they love you enough. Don't worry. They love you enough. Uh, and thank you, guys. So, SPS Pop Asia TV is back this Sunday, 9 a.m. on SPS 2. I'm Rome on SPS Pop Asia's K-Wave. See you next time. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>